New bills call for nursing home minimum staffing requirements. 110 nursing homes cut out from healthcare records and ransomware attack. And a former nursing home employee is accused of pretending to be the facility's administrator and faces identity theft charges. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, November 27th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Providers are pushing back against a proposed law that would require skilled nursing facilities to meet minimum staffing requirements. They're instead calling on lawmakers to find solutions to address the workforce crisis throughout the industry. Senator Richard Blumenthal, the Democrat from Connecticut, on Thursday introduced the Quality Care for Nursing Home Residents Act, Senate Bill 2943, which would revise minimum staffing requirements for skilled nursing facilities that participate in Medicare and Medicaid programs. Representative Jan Shalansky, the Democrat from Illinois, also introduced the proposal H.R. 5216 in the House. That legislation has since been referred to the House Ways and Means and Energy and Commerce Committees. Providers are arguing without additional funding, like with the legislation, would make it, quote, impossible for facilities to implement new mandates, although there haven't been any standards set for the proposed bills. A ransomware outbreak has besieged a Wisconsin-based IT company that provides cloud data hosting, security, and access management to more than 100 nursing homes across the United States. The ongoing attack is preventing these care centers from accessing crucial patient medical records, and the IT's company owner says that she fears this incident would soon lead to not only the closure of her own business, but also to the untimely demise of some patients. Milwaukee, Wisconsin-based Virtual Care Provider Incorporated, VCPI, provides IT consulting, internet access, data storage, and security services to some 110 nursing homes and acute care facilities in 45 states. All told, VCPI is responsible for maintaining approximately 80,000 computers and servers that assist these facilities. At around 1.30 a.m. Central Time on November 17th, unknown attackers launched a ransomware strain known as Ryuk inside VCPI's networks, encrypting all data that the company hosts for its clients and demanding a whopping $14 million ransom in exchange for the digital key needed to unlock access to the files. Ryuk has made a name for itself targeting businesses that supply services to other companies with ransom demands set according to the victim's perceived ability to pay. We'll be back right after this break. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. A former nursing home employee is facing criminal charges for allegedly posing as the facility's administrator and attempting to cancel other employees' shifts. Aaron Chandler, a former employee at the Delhi Post-Acute Nursing Home in Delhi, Ohio, allegedly called the facility staffing agency it uses to book nurses, posed as the facility's administrator, and attempted to cancel the staff services last week. The plan was stopped after a nurse aide called the facility directly and asked why the services were canceled for the day, the local media report stated. Chandler worked at the facility and quit in September after being suspended. She faces charges of identity theft and has since pleaded not guilty. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I'll see you on Wednesday.